Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, uh, we ended the session at uh, Sailor's Island, apparently. Uh, we've got a few things to do. We, of course, have to go get the Purple Moon Crystal. But before we do that, let's try and take this guy on outside. Now, uh, I have had one tip for this guy. Uh, and that is use uh, Equip Ica with the... Warrior's Heart, because apparently we're going to really struggle <laughs> with this one. Um, but hey, we're going to give it a go. Uh, let's see what happens. Hey, isn't that one of the guys from the wanted list at the Sailor's Guild? Let's talk to him. Yeah, apparently this guy's quite tough. <laughs> what are you looking at, punk? Laughing. Yeah, looks like we've got a live one here. At least this makes the bounty more interesting. I hear that you've been thrashing up cities with that machine of yours. Your name is Lapin, right? Yeah, what of it? And what are you here? And what? Are you here to try and stop me or something? Well, that's the plan. The name's Vase. Vase of the Blue Rogues. We're here to earn a little cash. So, you're this Vase that everyone keeps talking about. You're making quite a name for yourself. This day is turning out to be quite interesting. If I can defeat you, that means I'll become even more famous than you. Let's fight outside of the city. I don't want anyone involved to get hurt. Come to my ship. We'll fight there. <laughs> Coward. But if fighting outside makes you feel comfortable, whatever. You'll need all the help you can get to beat me. Okay, so an honorable combat outside. I hear you built that machine yourself. Damn right I did. It's the only thing my good-for-nothing pops ever taught me. Dad? You have a dad. I figured you must have hatched from an egg and crawled out from under some rock somewhere. Oof. Watch your mouth. Besides, he's not even my real pops. He just found me somewhere and decided to raise me. I didn't ask for help. He just picked me up and brought me home. Anyway, his name is, uh, Sentime the Coward. <gasps> Wait a minute. Sentime is your dad? Yeah, I doubt it. I don't see how Sentime could have raised some slime ball like this. I said, "Watch your mouth, wench." You don't know a single thing about what you're about. What you're talking about? Ooh. Well, that's something. That's really something. Me and Gunnar are going to be big. Real big. Not like that old fart of a dad. Okay. This is going to be tough. Vase, I'm going to rip you apart with this machine. You best come at me with all you've got because I'm not holding back. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to buff. Buff like we've never buffed before. So. Now with Vase... Uh, we're actually going to start, I think what we're going to do, we're going to start saving our SP. So let's go for, uh, we have a glyph of speed. So cast quicker on the entire party. Everybody else, for this round, let's get a glyph of might going on everybody. And then it's only Vase that needs a glyph of might. Yeah, okay, this this could hurt. Alright, those flocks don't seem to be too bad. Alright. And then Ica. Well I guess. Yeah, Fina's already pretty injured. Damn. Oh god. Seems to be fixated on uh, Fina for now, which is bad. Apparently, he has an insta kill move as well. That's bad. But we'll see. Worst comes to worst, we will uh, just have to heal every round, which is fine. I mean, the Glyph of Might won't actually do too much to Fina, but hopefully, it'll be better than nothing. 
25% more of... Ooh, Moonstone Blast. Wow. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah, that that was rather painful. Um, yeah. Let's get Vase back up. Um, pfft, God. Okay, that's what we're. That's really what we're uh, dealing with here. Um, now, I guess really we're going to want a glyph of might on Vase. Hopefully, he's going to wake up. <laughs> um, right, what can we do here? Special move. Justice Shield. Creates a barrier for one turn. All physical damage received is cut in half. Yeah, that seems like a thing that we probably are going to want. Definitely going to want to cut his damage in half. Let's try this. Alright, get up, you lazy bastard. we got work to do. So any little help, sir. Literally. Yeah, that helps nicely. Ooh, very nice. Very happy with that. Definitely gonna have to heal up Fina next time. Sidewinder. Why do I get the feeling this is gonna be uncomfortable? Ooh, Fina barely survived. Right, okay, so we're going to go for a special move. Not really sure what best to use here. Might be worth saving up. Just everybody heal. I think it might be worth using our ultimate attack. So if we go for... It might be worth getting everybody... Regen as well. Yeah. Might not be an awful idea. Right. Everybody go for a regen. As well. Healing salve. Because although it's not fantastic. It's, you know, better than nothing. Um, restores all HP. So we go for one of those. Now you, I guess, will get you going for a healing salve as well. So everyone now has regen too. Which again, like we say, it's not brilliant, but it's something. Oh shit, we weren't quick enough to heal her. That's okay, we'll bring her back in a minute. This should work. Is already going rather poorly. He's a lot tougher than I thought he would be. I mean, I thought he was going to be tough, but damn. Critical hit. Oof. Yeah, because if he if we get hit again with that uh, main attack of his, it's all over. Sidewinder again. This is going to wipe some people out. So I think this is going to end poorly. We need to come up with a better strategy. And I think I already have a better strategy planned. Right, let's... We still don't have Prophecy yet. Right, let's heal. Everybody heal. Oh god, even Enrique. We don't have Fina. And we're not really able to do anything with Fina anyway. <laughs> so that's fine. That's okay. Everybody heal up. We've got to try and keep our buffs going. So if we lose our buffs, that will be bad. Critical hit is still really hurting. We need to kill those frocks. Those, f yeah, frocks. 
Because they're nasty. Really nasty. Come on, heal up. Now, I'm not sure once we kill those frogs, if... Yeah, he's just going to use Sidewinder again. Sidewinder's okay. Ooh, that hurts. Enrique's really roughed up. Um, hey, right, cool. So we've got... Ah, oh, the blue rogues. That's not the one I wanted to use, but we'll give it a go. Let's see how much damage this does. This is kind of cool, though. <laughs> really? Just flicks a bogey at the enemy. Even little old pals getting in there. <laughs> okay, this is cool. Yeah, I'm not sure how a kiss is going to do any damage, but sure. Whoa. Okay. Okay, maybe we can win with a battle of attrition then. We can just keep everybody alive. Maybe that's how we can win. Right. Get... Rizalem. Get her back up. And I guess everybody else, just focus your power. Doesn't really get us much back though, does it? But anything's better than nothing at this point. I suppose if we can get Fina focusing as well, we need to buff her as well. Desperately need to buff her. But then I suppose we can just use her as bait. Ooh, charge. Oh, he's... He's just wasted a turn bringing a flock back. That's an interesting little weakness, isn't it? How interesting. Okay. Okay, let's kill that frock. So I'm thinking, as long as we can... Survive up until this point, um... Hang on. Right. So, Fina, you need to buff yourself. Uh, we'll give you the Glyph of Speed. But I'd rather you have... Uh, I would rather... Where's the Glyph? I wish there was a way to organise this. Glyph of Speed. Glyph of Might. Give yourself that. And Enrique... I want you to use Justice Shield. Now, can these two, between them, destroy a flock? Because if he's going to waste every turn bringing that guy back, I'll be happy with that. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe these flock things are actually a little bit tougher than I thought. Uh, maybe not. Oh, nice. Happy with that. Because I don't want Fina to miss out on this glorious experience. If we can get some regen going as well. Okay. This doesn't seem good. This really doesn't seem good. Uh, oh, we're close. We're really close. Um, everyone attack, I... Ooh. Is he going to do some big attack next turn? Should we get everyone to defend? I wonder if that's a better idea, you know? Uh, let's go for guard. 
instead of just trying to do loads of damage. Uh, I guess Fina? Uh, <laughs> you know what? She can guard. As well, I suppose. And... Oh dear, Enrique, yeah, he's not doing so hot, but maybe guard as well. I'd rather use his... I'd rather use... Justice Shield. Yeah, go for Justice Shield. Just because... Hopefully this isn't some bullshitty, like, one-hit attack. A one hit kill attack. Uh, if it is, then that's bad. Oh, Rampage. Ah. Oh. Right, that wasn't bad. Okay, that was not bad. I was think. Oh, we can use Prophecy now. Why couldn't we use Prophecy before? Strange. Get a load of this! Ooh, nice! Oh, that's the hit of the whole fruit right there. That's what we need. Okay. You know what? Everybody go for a round of attacks. Let's go for it. Uh, apart from Fina. Fina, I want you to... Uh, get yourself... Some regen. I'm not sure how that... Oh, and you. You. Use a crystal. All right, well, I mean, yeah, sure. It's not quite as bad as it could have been. Nice. Much better. Oh, he's doing his rampage again. Rampage wasn't terrible. Hopefully. Ooh. That's fine. That's okay. That is okay. Right. Let's... Right. Let's get uh, Enrique back. Uh, I guess if Enrique is going to come back, we're going to want a Glyph of Might on Enrique. We're also going to want... Glyph of Speed. Let's try this. And that's not going to work because... That's fine. That's okay. Be nice if the Rizlum Crystal popped first. But that's okay. That is okay. Can't hum, bu uh, hum, can't hurt buffing everybody's speed. Oh, this is the bad one. All right, actually, not that bad. Okay, cool. How are we doing? We're still building, still building. Okay, um, let's think about this. Let's get. We want a Glyph of Might. Enrique needs to be buffed. We shall also get a Healing Salve for Enrique going. Uh, you can... Um, yeah, regen. Completely restores the HP of all allies, which is kind of cool, but it's very expensive. Uh, you can just focus then, I guess, and, you know, I guess 
we use Justice Shield because it doesn't cost that much. Just a battle of attrition. Next time we recharge our bar, he's dead. But it's just getting to that point. Come on. Not that far off. Just got a hold out. I guess being over leveled uh, is helping slightly. Rampage shouldn't be too bad. Depending on who he's targeting. Oof, that's fine. That's okay. We can handle that. Oh, nice. Uh, I did kind of like the blue rogues though. That was cool. Should we go for blue rogues again? Because it doesn't really matter which one we use. They both do crazy amounts of damage. Let's go for blue rogues. That was cool. <laughs> you got to love it. It's kind of cool because you get to hear their voices as well. Sort of. Kind of. <laughs> I love the fact even Powell gets in there. Go get them, boys. He just like throws his ass hair at them, I think. She's a bit strange, but hey, whatever. I'm guessing the kiss is the healing factor. I don't know. He's done. Does do a decent amount of healing as well. That wasn't quite an utter victory. That's actually quite a hard victory, to be honest. Happy with that, though. Nice amount of gold. Decent XP. Yes. Nice to see Enrique climbing through the uh, ranks. We've got some Berserker mail as well. Nice. I can't believe this. I'm no better than Pops. Lappin, I think you might have misjudged Sentime. Your dad is the best machinist in all of Valua. Heck, maybe even the world. And on top of it, he's a kind-hearted man who looks after young orphans like you and Hans. Just shut your mouth already, will ya? You don't need to tell me that. I know. But I'm going to be famous, and I need to become famous. I can't sit around like Pops and wait for something big to happen to me. That's why I left home. I left home to become a legend. You worry too much. Heck, even I'm still a nobody in the grand scheme of things. Some things just take time. Yeah, I guess you can't... I guess I can't blame you, though. I left home to find my own adventures, too. So I guess you and I aren't so different. We both have so much to do ahead of us. But if you rush things and try to make a name for yourself by destroying towns, then you'll only be known as a criminal, not a legend. Huh. Well, see you around, Lippin. Next time we meet, I hope we're both a little closer to achieving our dreams. Aww. You have defeated me, both physically and mentally. I bow my head to you, Vase. Good man. And I have a cat in here. God damn it. I need to go decat the place. Uh, well, that was actually quite a hard fought victory. A former black pirate has opened a restaurant in the North Ocean. The food is supposed to be amazing and it's all you can eat. It makes my mouth water. I'd sure like to go sometime. Yeah, well, if you stop having a seizure on the floor, then, you know, get yourself a ship and go out there and get some. Simple, really. Right, let's go claim our bounty anyway. We like literally don't have a lot of time left here. Hmm. You know what? You look an awful lo lot like one of those pirates on the wanted list. I hear that you defeated one of the bounties. Well done. Here's your reward. You earned it. Five thousand gold for killing loose cannon Lappin. 
Uh, yeah, this is a problem, actually, uh, that Chris has been telling me about. We're actually a fallen pirate now. Uh, which is bad. A pirate who thinks he can hide behind his name. So we killed uh, this guy. It is now known that Lappin is the adopted son of the blue rogue Sentime. After being defeated by Vase, Lappin realized the error of his ways and started a new life as an engineer. His goal is to one day surpass his own father in skill. Yeah, much more noble goal. We've got to take out the uh, Ixenes demons. This is a problem. Once thought to be a hero, the once blue rogue Vase has been reported to be robbing the people of Nasrath, along with his two female accomplices. Perhaps Vase is nothing but a lowly scumbag of a black pirate after all. Yeah, I think we might have to go deal with that. And then we've got Daikokuya, the wealthy. Uh, riding aboard a, a Gaudi ship, uh, plated in gold, this pirate has been known to attack all who cross his path. A wealthy Yafatoman, he has been seen travelling near the lands of ice. It is said that he throws money at his opponents, confusing them in a fight. That could be questionable. Uh, right. So, oh, the world is round. I forgot we had that one. They sell that one. Nice. So we're all good. Um, I th oh god. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Cool stuff, dude. Let's get out of here now. Uh, let's go check the shop out because we did use some supplies. So I suppose we could go fill those supplies. Uh, I'm basically out of time. So when we come back, I think we might go bounty hunting. I've heard quite a few nasty stories about you. What went wrong? Oh no, this sucks. Everybody hates us. I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Restores all HP for one ally. Uh, and yeah, we could actually, yeah, fill up on those. Um, glyph of Might and a Glyph of Speed. We don't really need any of those. Healing salves. Uh, yeah, Rizlin Crystals. We definitely went through a few of those. So we'll replace... Get at least... Seven more. Okay, that's, that's plenty of those. Okay, that'll do. Right. So I'm going to go save the game, guys. When we come back... Uh, yeah, I guess we're off to hunt some more pirates. Or at least a pirate calling himself Vase with two female accomplices. Uh, now, I don't actually remember this bounty. I don't ever remember fighting this um, Vase character. But, I guess we're going to do it in the next video. At least, we're going to have an attempt anyway. So, till then guys, thanks for watching.